Captain Mama's Surprise. Written by Graciela Tiscareño Sato, Air Force veteran. Illustrated by Linda Lenz. Standing on the step of the bus exit, I see it. The big flying gas station where my mom works. I pull my hood on as the rain starts to hit me. There's the American flag painted on the tail. In my pocket, I feel the flag patch. I still love to stick on my pajamas. It's one of the patches Mama gave me when I was little. I can't wait to show my mom off to my friends. They're yelling at me to get off the bus, eager to get inside the plane. When my parents took me to school earlier, Mama said, See you at the jet, Marco. Could she be more excited than me about this field trip? There's my big sister Mimi next to Mama, waving as Mama attaches a ladder to the airplane and climbs up. That's my signal. With my teacher, Ms. Winblad, I lead my class, and soon I'm climbing the ladder. I stop halfway and look up as Mimi steps off and into the plane's flight deck. Mama smiles down at me, and I climb up as fast as I can. Behind me, I hear, wow, this is cool, as my friend David climbs up. My whole second grade class is going to climb up, just like real Clue members. On the flight deck, my mom hugs me and greets my friends. She tells everyone to step into the back part of the plane. Miss Calderon, our other teacher, is there gathering kids like a mother duck with her ducklings. She touches our heads, counting that we're all there. Welcome to the KC-135 aerial refueling tanker, says my Captain Mama with a big smile. Marco and I have been looking forward to bringing you out to the plane, she says, ruffling my hair. Please turn around and meet the pilots who just joined us. Captain Vicky Castro, the aircraft commander who sits in the left seat, and Lieutenant Kai Tanabe is our co-pilot who sits in the right seat, she says. This is our crew chief, Sergeant Sergio. He makes sure everything works on this plane. Every jet has its own crew chief. Sergeant Sergio waves and says, Welcome to my baby. I'm excited to show her to you. Meet Sergeant Christie, our boom operator, Mama continues, as the lady walks towards us from the back of the plane. Welcome to my office, says the sergeant. My mom continues, Today you'll meet the crew and see different parts of the plane. You'll learn why there are four air crew members and what each of us does to fly this gas station. Mom waves to Miss Winblad and our teacher counts several students, including me and my two best friends, Kiyoshi and Adriana. Sergeant Christie, please take Miss Winblad's group to the boom pod. Yes, ma'am, replies Sergeant Christie. Walk this way, kids, she says. We follow her to the back of the jet. I hear my mom say, Ms. Calderon and Mimi, please take your group to Sergeant Sergio by the overwing window. Everybody else, please follow me and Keiko, Marco's other sister, up to the flight deck. My teacher and oldest sister Mimi lead my friends back. My 10-year-old sister Keiko and my mom walk up front. The first thing I notice in the back are the rows of yellow metal tanks. Are these bombs? Kiyoshi asks, gently touching the tanks and reading my mind. What an interesting question, Sergeant Christie replies. They're not bombs. They're oxygen tanks, so we can breathe when we fly. Sergeant Christie asks Kiyoshi and Adriana to step down into the space below the floor, left of the oxygen tanks. She tells them to lay on their stomachs. Then she steps down on the right side. She looks up at me and says, follow me, Marco. What a tiny space I'm in. I'm on my stomach, just like Sergeant Christie. She's in the middle between my friends and me. The ceiling almost touches our heads. Welcome to the business end of the plane, the part we call the boom pod. The boom is the long pipe with little wings that we use to pass gas from our airplane's gas tanks to another airplane as we fly. 
pass gas. That's funny, Kiyoshi snickers. Adriana rolls her eyes. I thought you'd like that, Sergeant Christie says, smiling. It's my job to connect us safely to the other plane. This is cool. There's a joystick back here, Adriana observes. Yep, it sure looks like one, doesn't it? Sergeant Christie replies. I use this control to fly the boom around when we're in the air. These are the three most important gauges I look at. They tell me how far side to side the boom is, how long it is, and how far up or down it is. If the pilot of the plane we are refueling moves around too much, I disconnect the boom to keep us safe. Is it scary to connect to another airplane when flying? I ask. No, it's not scary because I've been trained for many hours to do this, replies the sergeant. I'm trained for emergencies too. There's no need for fear when you've learned to do something well. How far away is the other airplane when you're connected to it? Kiyoshi asks. Usually I am between 36 and 48 feet from the other plane, she answers. The boom itself is 28 feet long and I can extend it up to 19 feet during aerial refueling. Do you like working here? I ask. It is the coolest job in the world, she tells us. I open my window and see a military plane coming up for fuel. Can't do a mission without gas, right? I wish I could see you do that, Adriana says. It must be amazing. Maybe someday you will replies the boom operator. Wishes sometimes come true. Are you ready to go to the flight deck? Yeah, let's do it, we exclaim. We crawl out of the tiny boom pod. We walk past Miss Calderon, Sergeant Sergio, and our friends. They're doing something with a red crank in the floor. I hear Sergeant Sergio say, just in case the landing gear doesn't come down. We enter the flight deck and my mom smiles at us. Welcome back, kids. Come in. I squeeze in near my mom and the co-pilot seat. My friends are all around us. Captain Castro, the pilot in the left seat, says, Hi, everybody. I'm the senior pilot on the crew, the aircraft commander. I'm in charge of this plane, crew, and mission every time we fly. I've been flying this plane for over six years and have over 2,500 flight hours. This is Lieutenant Kai Tanabe, my co-pilot. Together with our navigator, we are the officers on the crew. We work with our boom operator to fly this plane and get the mission done on time and safely. Kiyoshi blurts out, excuse me, where's the fuel stored on the plane? How does it get to the boom? Lieutenant Tanabe explains. The 10 fuel tanks are in both wings and under your feet. During the refueling part of the flight, our boom operator tells us when we're connected to the other plane. We can't see what's going on back there. No rear view mirrors. When Sergeant Christie says contact, I look here at this button and confirm we're connected to the receiver plane. I push these switches to get our fuel to flow from our tanks to the boom and into the other plane, he continues. My job as co-pilot includes doing takeoffs and landings, managing our fuel system, and keeping the plane balanced. My mom turns sideways in her seat and continues. We use these headsets to talk to each other inside the plane because it's really loud when we're flying. My station includes radar controls so we can avoid bad weather and navigation systems to get us where we need to go. With these systems and fast mental math, I keep our mission on time so we can refuel planes anywhere in the world. These special charts Help us to always know where our airplane is over the earth, she said, holding up a colorful chart with mountains, oceans, rivers, and many lines, numbers, and words. 
it looked nothing like the maps we have in our car. I asked Captain Castro, is it scary to be the one in charge? It's not scary, she tells me. It's a big responsibility, yes. I love to be the leader of this excellent crew. I've loved everything about jets since I was a little girl, just like your mother. This is a special airplane and a cool job. Ready to go back to Sergeant said here, my mom asks. We turn to leave the flight deck and notice the lights are out in the back. As we walk out of the flight deck, my mother turns on the cabin lights. That's when I see our backpacks hanging on the seats. Surprise! Today isn't just a field trip to see the jet. We're going to take you all flying, my mother says excitedly. Yeah! I feel my jaw drop and look around. David says, what? Really? Yeah, all right, yells Kiyoshi as he jumps and pumps his fist in the air. Woohoo, says Adriana as she hugs me. I can't believe this, my first airplane ride. Is it true, Mama? I ask, still in shock, feeling my eyes open wide. Yes, it is true, sweetheart, she replies with a wide grin and a hug. Go back and strap into your seat. Our adventure is about to begin. <laughs>